Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. On this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you some fun stuff that you can make with a garden theme for your kitchen. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how the story of man opens and closes in the Bible in a garden. So, um, as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions along the way. Feel free to sprinkle, 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 and all that good stuff. So, I want to show you what I did before I came live, because I always like to have a few projects that are completed, and then we'll actually do two more projects. Okay, um, so this is a tea towel that I made this morning. It says to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And I don't know who said that. Probably Henry David Thoreau or some, some famous writer. But to plant a garden really is to believe in tomorrow. And um, so I just used this stencil, which is beautiful, from Maker Studio. And I used a little bit of black gel art ink and it came together great. Now, I love the sides of this stencil. Let me take it out of the shiny wrapper. And I think that you could do a lot of things just with the flower parts that are on either side. Do you guys know that I have a little bit of a flower obsession here at DIY Dreaming? Anyway, so this is what I made first. And probably in a few hours, I will heat set it with a hot iron and then it'll be washable, dryable, usable, everything. And if I wanted, I could come back and paint some of these flowers in with um, different colors of Maker Studio Gel Art ink. But I think I'm just gonna leave it like this because I think it's super sharp. Uh, just in this cream colored tea towel um, with the black ink. Okay, so this tea towel is one of the ones that I've been loving. It has this little hook on it, and it's nice and th nice and thick. Uh, it's from Walmart in the crafting section, and these tea towels, I don't have a wrapper anymore. They are located in the section where you find embroidery hoops and that kind of thing. Okay. So that was one project I wanted to show you that I was pretty excited how awesome that turned out. The other thing is that a friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of these beautiful, like creamy colored cloth napkins. And um, I don't know about you, but when we actually sit down at the table, which isn't as often as it used to be because my kids are getting older, I am a cloth napkin kind of person. And um, these, I think, could go with absolutely any, any, anything. Okay? Uh, you could do this project that I'm gonna show you on a colored cloth napkin, whatever you like. Okay, so before I came live, I made this. Oh, is it cute or what? It's even cute folded. But this is this B stencil, which, um, what is it called? Summer B. It's also from uh, Maker Studio. And I don't have links, but as soon as I hop off, I'll put them in the comments. A link to all the stencils, because they have a bunch of new ones, and also a link to the gel art inks from them. So I did this uh, napkin, and I'm gonna show you with another one what I did basically, but I just stenciled the one corner, and I used painter's tape to tape off the areas that I didn't want to stencil. And um, I did iron these before I stenciled them so that I would know exactly where that line was, but isn't that cute? And wouldn't you love to set the table and have these. I think this would be super cute on just about any color of napkin. So that's this one. So we're going with this whole garden theme because um, it's interesting how things, where should I put this? 
how things always work out for me. I'm thinking about this garden theme and then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, the Bible begins in the Garden of Eden. Oh my gosh, I did a Bible study, I don't know, a year and a half ago, which I'll tell you about in a minute, that talked about how our hearts were not designed for this time that we're here on earth. They were designed for the garden. And we are between the two gardens, the garden that opens the story of man in the Bible and the garden that closes the story of man in the Bible. So, um, yeah, it's just interesting how, how things work out like that. So I did this one. I also did this one, but I want to just give you a little warning. Okay, this one I made with this adorable dragonfly stencil, which is currently not available. If you're watching this in um, early July, 2021, uh, the, this dragonfly stencil, as soon as it comes in, it sells out. Uh, so if you want this one, just check back later. And I'm doing them all different, but all with a kind of garden theme. So there are two. And in addition to those, uh, there's a new stencil coming from Maker Studio. I just ordered it and mine should be delivered on Thursday, on Wednesday. And it is just an all over pattern of what looks like ferns. So I'm gonna do one of these with that. And then I'm gonna use this adorable, I love this stencil, bird stencil to do the fourth cloth napkin. And we're gonna do that here. And then, no, I'm not using that one for the, for the napkin. I'm using this one. That one we're using for the tea towel. This is called Flowers and Insects, and it's really pretty. So I'll be opening this up in just a second, and we'll be using it for the first time. And then we'll do a tea towel project with this. But in addition to, I mean, Maker Studio has a lot of different flower stencils. This is a really cute one that says bloom where you're planted. And this one says welcome spring. I've cut my nap. Um, you don't have to use the spring part, but then it has all kinds of really pretty flowers, bits and pieces. It has a super cute little bicycle in here too. I'm gonna show you that. <laughs> and it has the word grow which I love, let me show you that. So I just wanted to give you a little peek into the other things that are available from Maker Studio that have a garden theme. Okay. Oh, and then there's this one, and we did a project like this with this stencil recently, and then I mailed both of them out to the people whose names I pulled out of my hat. So I don't have that project to show anymore, but this is the verse Philippians 4, 8, that says, whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, or praiseworthy, think about such things. And it's all, all different kinds of flowers and herbs. So that is another great um, garden-themed stencil. Okay, let's do the napkin first. And the first thing I always do is cut the darn tags off. Why do they put them on everything? It's such an irritation to me. So, okay, that's gone. And like I said a few minutes ago, I ironed this before I came live so that I would know exactly where the creases were. And I wanna do this so that in the same direction so that all my napkins will basically open and close in the same way. So I'm just looking at this one. And it looks like this is where we're gonna be putting it, our stencil. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some painter's tape on it to mask off the areas that I don't want. And I'm just using this frog tape, I don't know where my lid went, this, um, frog tape because that's what I had on hand. I don't have any of the blue painters tape right now. Uh, but if you have that, you could use that too. 
And this is a great tip for when your stencil has a really small edge and you're worried that you'll go over the edge um, to use some tape. makes it so you don't have to think really at all which is great okay and then we're going to be working on a <laughs> surprise on one of these mats these cake mat cake board things from Walmart and I'm gonna put a paper towel in between my uh, piece of my napkin and the cake board. And then I'm going to tape it down basically to the cake board. Okay, so this is what I've got. All right, now we're going to use this stencil right here, which is like I said, it's called Flowers and Insects. And what I like about this stencil is that you could use all different bits of it and get a completely different look. So if there's an insect on this that you don't like, just don't use that part of the stencil. It has like a, kind of like a, almost like a honeycomb background to it. I'll hold it up now, you can probably see a little better. And first, what do we need to do here first? We need to get a Sharpie and we need to write what the stencil is, flowers and insects, so that we know which side of this carrier sheet to put our stencil back on once we've cleaned it and it's dry. Okay, these gray stencils are sticky, so they're adhesive, they're super detailed. Um, they're reusable many, 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 many times. Um, they have a little bit of a stretch to them. I'm just going to lay this down and look to see what, which parts I want to highlight. Um, yeah, so these are great. They're not so sticky that you need to fuzz them. So don't fuzz the gray stencils. That's the one thing I did want to make sure I told you. really matters if you're going exactly straight or not. Okay, so I'm just sticking my stencil onto my napkin. If your fabric that you're stenciling on is super wrinkled, like super wrinkled, then it's good to press it before you work with it. I pressed these just because I wanted to know exactly where those lines were. And so I'm using my new squeegee from Maker Studio. Love this thing. It's really firm, which is great. And we're going to work off of a paper plate. And this is the Gel Art Ink in black. It has some silly name that I can't read on there. Um, and I'll get you, I'll get everyone links when I'm done here. I'm guessing this is going to probably use a good amount of ink. So, um, if you want to look in your Bible about this whole garden theme, um, the Bible opens up with the story of creation, and in chapter 2 of Genesis is where it describes the garden. And, um, yeah, it's beautiful. And then if you want to read the end, pretty much, if you go to Revelations, or Revelation, chapter uh, 21, and then Revelation, chapter two, 22, verses 1 to 2. That's where you'll find that 
information. And I want to show you this Bible study book for this Bible study that I did um, that was great. And it was all about how we have this longing, this something in us that things are not right. No matter how right they seem, you know, we're just never fully, fully satisfied. I mean, I, I can totally relate to that. And so um, I've done several studies with this author. Her name is Lisa Turkhurst. And she wrote this book, this study book called It's Not Supposed to Be This Way. And um, it's just, it, it's really good. But it talks about the reason why we face so many disappointments in life is that we are living between two gardens. There's a garden in Genesis, chapter two and three, at the beginning of the Bible, and a garden in Revelation, chapter 21 to 22, at the end of the Bible. Our hearts were created in the perfection of the Garden of Eden, but we don't live there. We live in this broken world, and we're broken ourselves, you know, because we're, we we're sinners, all of us. Um, and so when I did that study, it really made a lot of sense to me uh, why I felt the way I did. In general, I'm, I'm a pretty happy, uh, easygoing person, but I have a better understanding of why I have those longings because this world is not our home. We're just traveling through on our way to our father's house, if you're a believer. Um, so, anyways, it's not Sunday, so I won't go too much into the Bible. But if you have never seen me before, um, I just want to tell you that on Sundays, I do something called Christ and Crafting, which if anyone's on here listening and you've watched Christ and Crafting, will you say a few words in the comments so that the people who are new can see uh, just a little bit about what, what Christ and Crafting is like. If you like it, if you don't like it, don't say anything. Um, yeah, I would love it if you guys would pipe up in the comments and share how you feel about Christ and Crafting uh, with some of the new people that are just new to DIY dreaming. Okay, I've pretty much got the whole thing covered, I think. Oh, I keep seeing little areas. Um, hands off. Let's see, where's my water? When I have a couple of big globs that I'm going to pull off. And let's take a peek. It's beautiful. Just wait till I take the tape off. You're going to say, oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous stencil. This is the first time I've used it. hundred percent perfect I see some little spots <coughs> excuse me where I didn't get my ink pushed through this stencil you know strongly enough but <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry excuse me okay so this is what it looks like right now And let's remove our tape. Uh, it's so sharp. I don't want to get the ink that's on the tape on the other parts of my napkin. <coughs> I don't 
know why I have a tickle in my throat. Anyways, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Okay, so we won't mess it up. But we're just, I'm just going to show you real quick. Just, whoops, don't get messed up. This is essentially how it's going to look. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to put it over here so I don't really mess it up. Okay, so now I want to show you, and I just love this, this theme, this look of cream with black. I think it's really sharp, but I did want to tell you that you could use some of the yellow and green inks to essentially create a watercolor, and you could paint in some details after you've heat set it if you want. So I have this one more napkin left that I'll be doing with that Fern stencil, uh, which is a brand new one. I think it just came out the last half of last week. and. Um, and so that's a garden thing too, and I think that'll be great with what I've got going on. Okay, let's do our tea towel now. And I do have this package. Okay, it came from Walmart. It's in the crafting section. Also by the um, embroidery stuff. And it's flower sack towels, package of two, they're hemmed, they're 100% cotton, they're 28 by 28, this is a big tea towel, and um, it's called Aunt Martha's Stitch um, Up. So I think that's the same brand as the other one that I um, did the, the garden, to plant a garden as to believe in tomorrow. I think that's the same brand. Okay, don't want to have any ink on my fingers before I'm even started. All right, so this is one of those. And what I like about these tea towels are they really are hemmed. And they're a little bit thicker than the super inexpensive um, flower sack tea towels that you can get. And they also have this little thing on the corner. But as usual, they have a tag on them, so I have to cut that off. Okay, so I am going to be making this tea towel as if when it's folded in thirds, so only this part will be stenciled, all right? And to do that, we're going to use some tape again. And I'm just going to get it started. We're going to use the bird stencil for this one. on almost all the way up to the edge of where the towel is folded. And then let's fold back this layer and we'll do the same thing right here. So how many of you guys, I can't see the comments, but when I sit down afterwards, I'll read everything you guys wrote. How, oh, thank you guys for writing about Christ and crafting. That is my... Um, my favorite crafting time of the week, and um, it's just, you guys are so encouraging to me, because believe me, it took a lot of courage for me to read from my Bible the first time, and then it took me a lot of courage to pray out loud on Facebook for the first time, uh, but God, but God, that's it. But God um, worked out all those details for me. So I'm getting more and more confident with it, and I love it. Okay. So 
this is our tea towel and we want this part to show. So basically we taped right here. Does that make sense? I think it does. And I'm gonna start at the top. Need some more. I need some more. Let's get rid of the cake board for this one. I need some more paper towels to go underneath it because these towels are thinner than the napkins, for sure. Move these. I'm just gonna tape it down to my napkin and my little craft desk. And this area right here is what we're going to stencil. We're gonna use this, which is a, it's a gigantic stencil. It's the bird and branches. Oh, it's an awesome stencil. I did, a, I have a pillow on my couch. Let me run out and grab it, because I wanna show you. from Maker Studio and this stencil. And then I painted the flowers and the bird and the little blackberries or raspberries or whatever to go with my decor just by watering down some gel art ink and, and using an artist brush. And it was fun and super easy. If you like this project, do a little a heart or something. Okay. So, I want, I think that's about the halfway point. We're not quite gonna go all the way up to the top. I want our bird to be as much towards the center as possible, but there are some pretty flowers in this garden on here that I want to highlight also. Same deal, I'm gonna put, we're gonna work with this big squeegee and I'm gonna put some more ink on my paper plate. And when this is completely dry, just like the napkins, I'll be able to heat set it. Oh, thank you for all the hearts. I love that pillow too. I actually have used it for a few naps. <laughs> um, we have some new furniture in our living room. And when I ordered my sofa, I was looking for a napping sofa <laughs> because I don't sleep at night a lot of times. And so sometimes I like to take a nap in the daytime and I wanted a sofa that would be comfy for naps. And so I've taken a few naps and I think I've used that pillow. <laughs> so um, it's looking a little wrinkled, but this is a beautiful stencil. And I love how you can just use part of it. That might be the little tip for today is just to, the idea of using painter's tape and um, taping off the areas that you don't want to stencil and going clear up to the edge of your painter's tape. It just makes it so much easier. I'm trying as much as possible to not keep going over the same area over and over again. Ooh, I feel a wrinkle right there. Dang. I don't know what that's going to do. It might not look great in that one spot. A little bit 
more ink. Okay, we're getting there. Just need to figure out where the edge is on this side. And we'll do those little leaves. And let's peek. Um, so you can at any time, oh, that's so pretty, lift up your stencils and look. And if you see an area, where you haven't pressed hard enough. Oh my gosh, this bird is so cute. This is an adorable, this is gonna be such a cute tea towel. I'm not giving this one away. I'm gonna keep it for my kitchen. Okay, let me throw my little birdie in the bath over here. Which is gonna be kind of hard because it's such a big stencil, but Oh my gosh, this is going to be so pretty. Okay, that's what it looks like right now. And out of the way. let's pull our tape off. See, I love how that gives us a really crisp edge. And when I fold this and put it over the oven door, it's going to look amazing. So when it's folded basically like this, I don't want to mess around with it too much. But that's kind of how it will look. It's going to be great. Let me see. Uh, and it, my ink did, the gel art ink did go through a little bit in certain areas. So that just tells me that I need to be super careful with it until it's completely dry. And I'm going to see where can I, I'll put it, hang it over the edge of my little chair here. And while I have you, um, I encourage you guys, if you're looking for a summer or fall or winter um, Bible study or something that you could do, check out Lisa Turkhurst. And her name is spelled different. Different, for sure. It's L-Y-S-A T-E-R-K E-U-R-S-T. Do you see it right here? She has a ton of different studies, but this one was really good. Um, it's not supposed to be that way. I totally recommend it. And you can do it by yourself, or maybe you have a, a friend or something um, that you could do it with. I did, it, I did this one, I think, with my community group. Um, We are imperfect because we are unfinished. So as unfinished creations, remember, we, we talked about that on Christ and Crafting, how God finishes what he starts. And we're in process right now while we're here on earth. Um, so she says in this page, we are imperfect because we are unfinished. So as unfinished creations, of course, everything we touch will have imperfections. Everything we attempt will have imperfections. Everything we accomplish will have imperfections. And that's when it hit me. I expect a perfection in me and a perfection in others that not even God himself accepts. Um, yeah. So between two gardens, that's, that's the theme of this. 
but this book is called It's Not Supposed to Be This Way. All right, let me show you a couple more Maker Studio stencils, and then I'll quit yakking. Um, I just got these out of my cabinet today, and I was like, wow, I have a lot of awesome stencils. Let me move this so I don't knock it over. Hello, Summer. There's tons of faith ones. I can't stay where I am and go with God. I did that lemon project a couple weeks ago. His mercy is new every morning. Let your speech always be seasoned with salt um, that you may know how to encourage one another. Love one another fervently with a pure heart. And then this is an all-over pattern that has Christ and Redeemer and Beloved and Alpha and Omega, Bread of Life, Ancient of Days. It has a crown of thorns on it. It's beautiful. <laughs> this is a fun one that I will eventually do something with it. It is the little dog stencil. These are all fairly new stencils. This is a great one too. It says, family rules. Love the Lord with all your heart. Always be honest, be kind, count your blessings, forgive and forget, comfort one another, and above all, love each other deeply. That's a great one. This is a really cool one that is called Chagrin. To me, it looks either like a leopard's or a, a, some type of a lizard's skin or like bubbles, small bubbles and something. Um, this is a cool one too, and I think it's, I'm not sure if this one's back in. It's called Moroccan, Moroccan Influence. Ooh, this is a pretty one. It's called... Victorian Damask. Here's our awesome dragonfly. And let me just tell you that the second, these three stencils right here are out right now. I mean, because they're so awesome. So the second that this is back in stock, I will let you know. I've been watching for it. And this is a brand new one that, um, that was, that they, they showed it and it sold out like the next day. And it is called Roses. This would be pretty for one of my napkins too. I kind of messed up the front of it a little bit with my ink when I was playing around with it. Um, but it's gorgeous. And then this is the other one that will be back soon. But this one is called Paisley. So, there are lots Lots, lots, three pages, as a matter of fact, three or four pages of great stencils over at Maker Studio. If you want the link for that, just say link in the comments, and I'll drop it in a few places since I didn't have it to pin it to the top. I'll also put it in the description. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put the links to the gel ink and all of these stencils in the description box just below the video so you can check there all right thank you guys so much for watching let me just show you what we've got here carefully so if you didn't if you weren't here at the start we made these great napkins uh, with i did this one beforehand that b this one was with the dragonfly stencil that's out right now but hopefully it'll be back soon and then we did this one which is called insects and flowers it's still wet so i'm going to be careful and then before i came live i had made this awesome tea towel which i love this for so many different reasons to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow and then we did one more 
which is the bird, which I don't want to mess that up, and it's draped over the chair right now. So um, the thought occurs to me that maybe this is why I love making, <sighs> making flowers so much and doing projects with flowers because I am dreaming and wishing and aching and, you know, for the other garden. So I just wanted to show you a few of the many, if you're new, if you look back in my videos, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the playlist of DIY flowers. There's like 45 videos in there that I've done in the last two and a half, three years on flowers that you can make that are awesome. So um, take a look for those if you wanna see any of that. Make sure that you've liked and subscribed, um, or yeah, liked and followed this page uh, on Facebook and that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel if you're watching over there. All right, I'm just looking at your comments. I'll get everyone links as soon as I hop off. Maker Studio has new stencils pretty much coming out every week, usually on Monday and Wednesday, sometimes Wednesday and Friday. Um, so check back, but I wouldn't wait just for this one to come back to place an order because by the time that happens, the other ones will be gone. I mean, they just have a hard time keeping, knowing exactly what is gonna fly out of there in what quantity and keeping things all in stock at the same time. So, alrighty. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to say goodbye now. I'll get pictures of everything and um, I will post those here in the comments and also over at Facebook. Have a great rest of your day. I'll also, in case you're interested in this, no, the book is not upside down. That's the, the, um, the cover and that's just a way to understand what she's saying. It's not supposed to be this way. Um, so this is the study that I was talking about. Edna, I'll get you a link as soon as I'm done. <laughs> okay, Estelle says, you like flowers so much, it surprises me that you don't like to gardening. But gardening is hard work. Um, and you know what? I live in Georgia, in the suburbs of Atlanta. And here in Georgia, we have Georgia uh, red clay. A lot of the dirt is red clay, and it is like cement. It's so hard to dig in. So I like tending to my flowers, to my knockout roses, and I have forsythia, and I have a bunch of beautiful hydrangeas, and uh, I'm just trying to think. I have a clematis that I love. I have some black-eyed Susans. Um, I love tending to those, but I don't like digging in the cement, <laughs> in the Georgia clay. So anyways. Would you do some watercolor lessons soon? Yes, Betty, thank you for the suggestion. Um, I would be glad to, because that's one of my favorite things to do. Patricia says all her garden is above ground in pots. Yeah, that's a, a good suggestion. Alrighty, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'll see you guys later.